you very much for joining me here today. This is a brief overview of the PCB Fundamentals class that we here at 9.connects have put together. So how do we learn about PCBs? Here at 9.connects, one of the things that we do is we provide training. And that question of training is always brought out in a broad scope as to how do we train, how do we get people involved in the PCB design process, and more importantly, how do we have them master it rather than the PCB process control them. And what's interesting about all of this is that we learn about PCBs in a very piecemeal fashion. So for example, a lot of us may have taken classes either through academia or through EDA tools, but more than likely it was just one single class and more than likely it was very specific to schematic capture and the PCB layout tool. We may learn from our colleagues, especially those who've already been there and done that. Of course, experience is one of the best ways to learn uh, out there. EDA tools, again, uh, maybe you've learned through their manuals, you learn through their training processes, maybe you learn through their forums. There's articles, there's webinars, especially the ones we put out, specifications and books. But when you look at any one of these, including experience, we never really get the whole story. And as a matter of fact, though experience is very, very important, if we get kind of stuck in our ways, we can actually be doing things very inefficiently time and time again. So how do we get this whole story? Well, what if there was a comprehensive but readable reference guide? What if there was a training that brings all this together? Well, we at 9.connects have been working on this for the past year, and this is our solution, the PCB Fundamentals Training. So let's start off with what it is not. We are not doing a tool training. This is separate from what we do with the Altium Designer Boot Camp and with the Altium Designer Special Ops courses. Those are specific to learning Altium Designer. This is not an EDA tool training class. What it is, is more importantly, is teaching the entire process. So I'll jump to point two in my slide there. We're trying to teach the whole process from specification through schematic design, libraries, PCB layout, into manufacturing. So you're gonna get the whole story. It is a training for everyone. It's not just for the new kid who came out of college and is fresh and ready to go. It's also for those people who have put out many boards. It's also for those people who are in program management who have to try to control this really crazy process because it's just a process that requires thousands of decisions and anything that gets left off uh, does certainly come to bite you in the end. We also talk about the concepts of DFM and DFT. One of the interesting things about anything, any type of process out there is that a process has a philosophy to it. And the philosophy that we want to push with the PCB design process is DFM, which is designed for manufacturability, and also DFT, which is designed for test. And when we put these things into our process, it makes the actual manufacturing process a lot more smoother, it moves easier, it gets through those things that can get kind of sticky rather easily. Okay? And all too often, it's the DFM and the DFT aspects that we neglect because many of us may not actually be testing the end product, but in the end, it has to be tested and when the product doesn't work or we're trying to get probes into it or we're trying to understand why something's not working, that's when all the problems really begin. So what are the topics that we're gonna talk about? Well, interestingly enough, our first day, we're not going to talk about EDA tools. We're going to jump right into the manufacturing process. In particular, what do, we, what do we need to do in order to have a good layer stack up? What's involved in a layer stack up? What are the elements of a layer stack up? These are fundamental things that all too often we leave to the fabricator to figure out. But in high speed design, it's really important for us to know these things so that we can get the proper impedances. So fabrication, what goes on in assembly? What do we need to do for test? And then after we do that, we're gonna jump all the way to the very beginning of our journey of the PCB design process. And we're gonna talk about specifications because it's amazing how important specifications are. Let me give you a very brief story about this. When I was in the industry and I was working for a defense company, I worked at a, on a, about a dozen projects. And those projects that went extremely well was not just because of a good manager. In fact, in some cases I had very difficult managers but the project went well when we had a specification. And any of the projects we did that did not have specifications really resulted in very difficult times, which we jokingly call death marches. All right, so specifications are definitely important. We're also gonna talk about things that you will find in the EDA tool as well. We're gonna talk about libraries, we're gonna talk about schematics, we'll talk about PCB. But again, we're not talking about how to push a tool. 
What we're trying to do, for example, in the libraries is to talk about the really important elements that you have to add so that your documentation in the end will come out complete or it will come out instantaneously. Like, for example, a bill of materials. If you do a library correctly, for example, especially your symbol library, you will instantly get a bill of materials at the end of your schematic. Or if you need assembly files, or if you need to have courtyards, this stuff is all a part of being in the footprints. The schematics themselves, how do we make them so that they're very readable? The PCB, what do we need to do in order to make sure everything comes together? Now it may have, uh, you may surprise you that a PCB artist or designer is really a diplomat of sorts because they have to interface with a lot of different people. They interface with the fabricator, the designers, if they weren't the one who designed it. They've got to uh, interface with the mechanical folks, program management, uh, the purchasers, they've got to go with the fab folks, the uh, assembler folks, uh, the test folks. So there's a lot of people that they have to interact with. And so it's, uh, it's really important to understand how do we interact with them and at what point during the PCB layout do we interact with them. And then lastly, we talk about documentation generation and what is needed to get it uh, to manufacturing and what do we have to provide them so that it's a complete package. And all too often we press buttons, we throw it over the fence, the proverbial fence, and we hope that we've given them enough information and then we're in a scramble when they either tell us that we've not given them enough information or worse, um, the information we gave them uh, is not complete and we found out that we just completely overlooked it and we can't easily generate it. Uh, so there are aspects of that as well. So those are the topics. What are we going to get from this? Well, a lot of great things. Number one, just understanding of what it takes to have better libraries. Documentation, the guy, the project. As I mentioned before, good documentation will get you through your project rather easily. Less meetings and less emails because when you have specifications, you have marching orders, and when you have your marching orders, everybody knows what to do. Readable schematics, especially for the test folks out there who have to do any type of debug. Instant bill of materials. If you're doing any type of manual bill of materials, you'll definitely want to see how we can uh, make it so that you'll have instant bill of materials. Less respins because if you've got good documentation and you are designing for test and you're designing for manufacturability, there's probably a better shot that you will not have issues that are going to require you to scrap boards and start again. And of course, less manual efforts and manufacturing documentation. So if this is of interest to you, Please do check us out at 9.connects.com. Take a look at the training tab and you'll find us under the PCB fundamentals. So thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions, please do contact us and we'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions.